Welcome to Think, Make, Innovate, the Makerspace Show. I'm Amber Bridge, and Jason, why are you wearing that mask? Because I'm really excited about the new Star Wars movie coming out December 18th. That's right, I've already bought my ticket. I don't want to spoil anything for you though, but I don't think Darth Vader is in this episode. Mm, that's true, but several of our favorite characters are returning, as well as some cool new ones. I'm pretty excited about the robot named BB-8. Yeah, did you hear the story about how they created the robot they're selling in stores? I did. Shortly after the first trailer, someone hacked a Sphero robot to create the BB-8. The Sphero company created a version of that hack and is partnering with Disney to sell it. Unfortunately, we don't have one yet. I think J.J. Abrams should send us one for all this free publicity. But I heard if he doesn't, if this video gets a thousand views, our boss will mess. Either way, what a great intro to our episode about Sphero. Yeah, it's a great robot. It's one we have here at Grant Wood. As you can tell, it's obviously sphere shaped. The company makes the BB-8 and the Ollie as well. You can drive them around like a remote controlled car, but we actually like to use them to teach coding to kids. There are several Sphero apps that are available, but we actually like to use a third party app called Tickle. We like it because it can be used with several other devices like Parrot drones. It's a really great app, really easy to use. It's a block coding app if you're familiar with that. I should also mention that there is a new Sphero app available for Chrome as well. Haven't used it yet, heard it's good. Uh, Sphero also recently used, uh, released a new block coding app called Spark. Block coding is similar to what you would see in Hour of Codes, uh, code.org, which is coming up this month. Right, right. Uh, this version is a Sphero 2.0 edition. It took us like two seconds to write a quick program in Tickle that's going to make it move and make it change colors. See it. Awesome. So for this month's Makerspace Challenge, we actually used a lesson plan from the Sphero company called Maze Mayhem. There are several lesson plans on their website called Spark Lessons that are great to try out. There are even some STEM tie-ins where you can use a Sphero in water. The Sphero is waterproof. True, but no water today. We're actually going to use the Sphero to run through a maze that we created out of cardboard. We learned a lot through this challenge. One thing we wanted to share with you is the Sphero runs best at at least 20% speed. It's less wobbly at a higher speed. Also, make sure you find the orientation control on the Tickle app to get your bot pointed the correct way. There are also several math tie-ins to this. You're gonna see us using meter sticks to measure out the angles so that we can properly code our robot to go through the maze. Make sure to capture your Sphero maze process. We'd love to see what you create and add your work to our maker community. So check out our maze that we created next, and remember, have, have fun, fun making. making.